work-life balance means so many different things to so many different people. So really wanting to know what that means to you. What we're really talking about is just how you're feeling about your life and all the different aspects of it, where things are going well, where you'd like to see improvements, assessing kind of what's your satisfaction with your life balance at this point and where you'd like to see more of that. You know, work-life balance has gone by many different names, work-life harmony. I'm a sports fan and so locally, one of our um, big sports anchors for the local news ended up resigning from his job and they thought, oh, well, that's kind of sad. And I didn't really think too much about it. And then I was kind of scrolling through LinkedIn a few days later and he shared a post and he was talking about kind of why he ended up leaving and he'd been on the news station for about 20 years and he had shared that after the pandemic and a lot of reflection he just realized that his life was really out of whack and the things that were important to him he wasn't focusing uh you know his time on so he really took this as an opportunity to take a step back and reassess that and kind of chart a new career path and he actually kind of propose calling work-life balance, life-work balance. So really reorienting it from that title. But he also um, kind of referenced that this is really a time where, you know, I think in the workplace, we're seeing a lot of, a lot more people resigning and kind of, re kind of taking that inventory as well. So I think that's really a um, phenomenon that we're seeing just in the workforce um, in general. So work-life balance has always been important, but perhaps now more than ever. Work-life balance changes day to day. I think, you know, if we think about balancing ourselves, we're always moving and adjusting and being sort of nimble. And then I think the other question is, what are some areas of your life that you would like to see grow and flourish? I think that that's really important. And I don't know if um, you're anything like me some days or weeks or even months, uh, you can feel like you're really on autopilot and we don't always have time or space or feel like we have time and space to really reflect on those type of things. But it is so incredibly important to do, to take time for yourself, to really assess where you're at and to see where you want to go. And so I really encourage you all to do that. And I think this is really the first step in just even thinking about work-life balance for yourself.